Okay, I mentioned before, you know, on this 500, I am switching from electronic ignition to a point ignition. Now, this boss here on an SR motor hasn't been finished off. Uh, let's see if I can get it in the camera. Okay, this is the one on an XT motor and a TT, and that's what I'm going by. So I machined that down uh, like 42 thousandths to give me the necessary clearance. Now I have to drill a nine millimeter hole to accept this shaft. But what I was gonna mention was, you know, I'm using these fly cutters. Uh, I use those for modifying bullet molds too. You know, you can, especially on aluminum, you can machine stuff down with a press drill very easily with them fly cutters. But I have found them to be very handy and they are relatively inexpensive. And if you, like I've got this bolted down onto the, the table, but you got to make sure, of course, you got the table straight, unless you want to work at an angle. You know, you can set it at an angle. Then I can just simply rotate the, the table to hit where I want. But you can take off just a small amount at a time. You can see just a little fine shavings and whittle it down right to where I need it. Now, I just got to be very sure on centering this hole for the drive. But this was a nerve wracking part. The drilling a hole, well, and it's not just a hole, it's a hole that goes down, and then a smaller hole has to be drilled at an angle into the flywheel chamber that oils this end of the shaft. But drilling a hole is no big thing. In fact, if I should accidentally go too big on it, I could very easily put a bushing in there, which would make more sense than running right in aluminum, but that's the way they did it. And there's really no strain on there. You know, there's a, this is the shaft that runs in that hole, but there's a big bushing that runs on the outside that supports it. So that's just really more of a pilot. And then there's another on the outside, you know, so not a big thing, but I'm going to have to use the cover to line up to make sure I get that hole right in the center. But I was just going to mention, uh, you know, fly cutters are relatively inexpensive. If you work with aluminum, they work great in a drill press. 